congratulations, you're getting married. And it's really exciting, but there's a lot to do and we're here to help. Hi, I'm Shay and I'm a tailor with many years of experience and a team with thousands of dresses under their belts. In this multi-part series, we're gonna take you through every step from buying your dress to your walk down the aisle. We're gonna be with you every step of the way. Ready? Let's go. In this first episode, we're gonna talk about inspiration, how to get inspired for the type of dress that we're looking for. My favorite way to do that is just to shop for regular clothing. What would I wear on a normal day? And to do that, we're over here at Umber, which is a wonderful women's boutique here in Tulsa. And we're gonna take a look at just what we like. Throughout the series, take a look at the description down below. We've created a series of worksheets to go with each one of the episodes that'll make it really easy to organize your thoughts and follow along with us as we go step-by-step step through the process. Right away, I see something I'm gravitating towards. This adorable top with these great sleeves. I like a good statement sleeve, so I know that this is something that I'm gonna wanna at least try on later. The other thing that I notice about this is that it's a nice muted color. Colors are becoming really popular as an underlay on a wedding dress, maybe white lace over top. So I'm gonna keep this kind of peachy color in mind. Something I also see on this is this cross style front. Now for me, I feel like this accentuates my shoulders. It's not my favorite style. So I know what I do like about this piece and I know what maybe I won't look for later when we're shopping. Oh, here's another one. This is really interesting. You see with this cross strap front. So I kind of like how modern and sleek this looks. I think that maybe I'll want to try on a couple of dresses with that spaghetti strap or halter style and a corset, a lace up back. Now, I think I'm going to go simpler. I like a really easy zipper or something like that, but this is a really beautiful traditional detail to keep in mind. Again, something that we may see on wedding dresses later. You know, I don't mind a higher collar and this really heavy detail is a little bit fun and bohemian, kind of wild and free. I sort of like that. I think I'm gonna want to try something with a heavier lace like this. Oh, this is exactly what we're looking for. Don't forget, this is supposed to be fun. We're having a great time. Also don't forget, like and subscribe. Another thing to keep in mind, just as a side note, is things like pajamas and robes. Later, when you're planning your getting ready party, you may want something like this for your bridesmaids or your group that's gonna be with you. So, might as well keep it in mind. Kill two birds with one stone while you're out shopping. This pleat style, you see how you can see the creases? This is called a knife pleat. It's pressed in when the garment is made, so even when you wash it, it still stays. It's a really interesting detail that would give a lot of volume to a dress like it does with this one. I think that I might like to try on something with this kind of volume when I go out. Yeah, I really like that. And keep the color in mind for the honeymoon. Now, looking for the perfect dress, we have a little bit of a cheat here, which is that we already have tons of them in the shop. So before we actually get shopping for our own, I'm going to peek a little at some of the ones that we have and look at some of the details that I've seen that we actually have right in front of us. So we've got oh, so many different kinds of options. We've got strapless and lace. We've got satin with heavy details and pleating. There's so many different styles of dresses. Gosh, oh, sleeves, statement sleeves, which we will talk more about. These are actually detachable from the dress. So ease of dancing at the reception with these beautiful little pearl details along the cuff. Ooh. 
I think I'm gonna save that for later. So taking a look at some of the dresses that already exist out there and getting an idea, are you maybe a more modern, more sleek bride? Are you looking for a simpler fabric, but with maybe a interesting kind of sexy cut at the top? There are so many different styles and of course, getting to peek behind the scenes makes it fun and easier, but that's why we wanna let you in on it. Next, I wanna take a closer look at some of the details, lace, beading, sequins, and all the different types of glitter. Let's take a look. We're back over here at the work table and we're looking at some of my favorite pieces, which are the details. Now, I know that the sleek, modern look is really popular right now, but there are lots of different ways to spice up everything from lace to no lace with just buttons, sequins, glitter. We've got a lot of different details to consider when we start shopping. So let's start back here. We've got a array of little sequins and beads. These are really fun because they're leaning much more gold. And that's one of my favorite things about this process is that adding a little bit of color, even though we're kind of in the white general range for wedding, is becoming really popular and I think that it will stay. I really be believe that adding a little bit of color is becoming very timeless. Then we've got our different pieces of lace, more of an ivory with a pretty pearl detail, or more of a modern, oh, I love this one. If you can just barely see in the light, we've got some transparent sequins on there. I just love that. The subtle shine that that's gonna give on a full dress as you're walking, Perfect, really beautiful. And then we've got more of a bohemian look here with some feathers and this really interesting, uh, what I would call a burnout lace, which means that the area between the lace has been removed probably by a chemical process, but it leaves behind a negative, kind of like a photograph. It's really cool. And then maybe a little more artistic, almost like a pencil drawing, this little guy with these beautiful little leaves. Less floral and more just nature in general. There's so many different options from modern to traditional to bohemian. And then we've got glitter, which I love. I love some glitter. And the rhinestones again come in different orientations. Maybe you're looking for more of a belt style or maybe you're looking for more overall glitter. So we've got some shiny iridescent beads and then some really interesting rhinestones in these wild geometric shapes that we just worked on a dress with. Boy, that was a beauty. And then finally, details like straps. We'll talk a lot more about this as we're shopping and as we're fitting the dresses, but straps are a really easy add-on. If you like the strapless style, but you're wanting a little bit more support, we keep these on hand, but we can also make all kinds of straps using some of these beaded details, some of these laces, and that's a super common addition. So we've got a lot of detail options here, and I'm very excited to uh, get shopping and see them in the wild. Okay, let's recap. We've gotten some inspiration. We've looked at some things that we like. This process of getting inspiration is one of my favorites because we get to warm up kind of for the big appointment by shopping in a low stress, low pressure environment and really getting the chance to look at what I like. What do you like? What don't you like? And taking that information to inform you later when you are shopping for the dress. Remember, we've created a worksheet for each of the episodes, including this one, so that you can follow along. They'll all be linked in the description below. They look kind of like this. Isn't that cute? We are gonna be interviewing a ton of wedding industry experts and you are not gonna wanna miss it. See you on the next one. I believe it's like, um, oh, it's probably like the biscuits. We gotta, we gotta twist it the opposite direction. Oh God, oh God, oh God, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's not how it's supposed to work.